Hey there, and welcome back to the channel. You can probably hear my voice that I am not at 100%. I haven't done a video in a few weeks because I have been under the weather for about three weeks now. Last weekend, I lost my voice completely. And so tomorrow, I think I want to try to go to my first car show in so many weeks. And so even though I cannot do a video where I am talking a lot and trying to explain things, I can go to a car show and show off some nice cars. So tomorrow I am going to go to an all Ford show and I'm going to take my Marcos 3 liter GT. I spent a little bit of time today cleaning the dust off the car. And if you're wondering why am I taking this car to an all Ford powered show? Well, this car uses the 3 liter Essex Ford V6. Marcos used a lot of Ford engines. My other Marcos uses a Ford Kent engine. And I have taken the other car to this show before. So this year I decided why not take this one? Let's get the bonnet open, check everything out, make sure it's ready to go. Oil looks good. The antifreeze is right at the top of the core. So I'm going to add a little bit of antifreeze. And that should be good. Now we need to check the brake fluid. The clutch is on a cable system, but we need to get to the hydraulic reservoir for the brakes. That's under this Marcos cover here. I think there's only been two screws in this panel ever since I've owned this car, but since you need to take this off to check things, I haven't put any more screws back in. The reason for this weird pedal box is the pedals in the car actually move forward and back from a knob that's next to the steering wheel. You can see a little bit of that screw system right there. But we're in here to check the fluid level. That looks okay. Make sure we put this back on without cross threading it. Then we have to put the panel back on. I think the only thing left to do now is take it over to the fuel station, fill it full of petrol, and it will be ready for tomorrow. I think these cars look a bit like an E-Type Amira and a Alfa Romeo TZ all got together and had a baby. The E-Type gives the front of the car, the side profile looks a bit like a Amira. And then an Alfa Romeo TZ-like cam tail on the back. Unlike my older Marcos, this one has a sunroof in it, which is great when the weather is almost 80 degrees like it is today. There is power windows on this car. That's really helpful. Let's go. Fuel gauge currently is reading about one eighth of a tank. Of course, we don't know how much is actually in there. But let's fill it up and see if it goes to full. It is a beautiful day today. This car has a central filler cap, so it doesn't matter which side of the car you pull up on. And of course, I am going to use no ethanol. I do not run ethanol in any of my cars. All right, it stopped at eight, just over eight gallons. Fuel gauge did not go all the way up, so it probably reads a little bit low. So we probably had more fuel than what it was showing. Looks like it's a little bit flaky. Of course, this car has not had very many miles on it in probably the last 20, 30 years. It's only showing 20,000 total on the odometer right now. I think the car is ready, so I'll see you tomorrow. 
It's the next morning. I am just waiting for my dad to get here. He is going to take one of his vehicles as well, and then we will cruise down together. We're on our way. My dad brought his Bronco to take to the show today. I know he really wanted to take the spare lane, but he was having problems with it. may be the first time that I've had this car out on the interstate. It is of course very long-legged, has no problem going high speeds. Roads here are a little rough for it though. You can see the little whoops in the road there translating to the steering wheel. So I've got a bit of a problem. My latch on that side keeps coming undone. My bonnet is flapping around in the wind. I pulled over and got it fixed. I'll be on slower roads all the way to the show so hopefully it won't happen again. Because I've never had that happen before but I've also never driven on the interstate for that long of a period before either. Okay here is the show site. Looks like there's a lot of cars. Good turnout considering it, I think it's going to be raining later. Uh, what are you? Uh, I'm what Mark Marcos GT. Yeah, thank KK. All right, the guys up there in the orange shirt, I'm going to circle KK. They'll show you where you're supposed to park. If they think you're something different, I'm going to give this to you because you got to fill out the back. Yeah. They're asking that you park first. Oh, okay. Then come up to pay for your registration. Okay. I'm on the right side. <laughs> Which uh, class are you? KK. Who? KK. KK.
Well, that was a good show. I'm getting ready to leave. Going to take the country roads back. I think here we're looking at some of the tornado damage. The tornado came right through here. Oh man, look at that, yeah. You see it went right over those trees. Bunch of trees are torn down right here. Signs knocked down. My bonnet has been okay this whole time until I got on another four lane road here and now it came loose on that side again. So I may need to put a new bonnet latch over there. That one might be getting worn out. Maybe it needs an adjustment, not sure. But I'll just keep my speed down just a little bit and make sure that I get it back safe. There we go. That should get me home. I did make it back okay, and I hope I am back at 100% soon as well. So thanks for watching.